Hello, good afternoon and welcome. I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Arke Goyal. Mr. Goyal is with Galani Steels, which is a, a major steel player uh, in southern India. So, so welcome, Arke. Thank you for joining me. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure talking to you. And uh, we are one of the leaders in producing green steel in India. We had started producing green steel almost a year back. And till now, we are the only one in the country. Yeah. And... Uh, this has helped us as well as the country as well as the globe to save co2 and uh, we are one of the leaders the way we are producing green steel our net emissions are 105 kg per ton of crude steel and this is among the lowest in the world yeah. lot of oems all over the world whether it is from europe whether it is from us of course india are talking to us about uh, allocating certain quantity of steel, green steel to them. Largely, the focus is from bearing steel manufacturers, from windmill manufacturers and automobiles. Yeah. We are definitely talking about the green steel premium. As of now, there is a lot of hesitancy in giving any premium because the cost goes up and customer doesn't pay to them. But eventually, eventually once the CBAM is implemented, I am sure the premiums will come and they will be very much in place and right now one of the OEM is likely to pay us around 100 euro per ton. Right, okay, yeah, so there, there is a green premium. Interesting you mentioned the, the CBAM, was that an important um, factor in your decision, your investment decision? You see, our decision was basically governed by two factors. One is cost reduction and second is uh, our commitment to our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, uh, the commitment he has given in COP26 yeah. and we try to work hard to see how we decarbonize. Mr. Kalyani is part of the manufacturing team of Mr. Modi and there he made a commitment that we will definitely like to work towards decarbonization. These are the two motivating factors yeah. by which we worked out and converted our Pune plant into green steel. And in the process, you know, we studied and studied a lot and worked out that finally we have to get rid of any and every fossil fuel uh, including thermal coal, furnace oil, diesel or whatever we are using. Yeah. We have converted all our electricity to green electricity, yeah. solar and wind. In fact, uh, uh, in a secondary steel plant where you start with the scrap, uh, almost 70% of uh, carbon dioxide uh, is generated in the process of manufacturing electricity. Rest is from uh, other processes of reheating in the rolling and uh, various other manufacturing uh, equipments. We have also followed circular economy. Uh -huh. Like most of the material which we supply to our customers, they generate around 30% of scrap. We take back all the scrap and remelt and reuse it. And uh, in the process, we are using almost 70% of scrap uh, in our arc furnace. So it is promoting two things. One is no fossil fuel, circular economy, produce steel with close to zero uh, uh, CO2 generation and we have achieved a target of 105 kg per ton of steel. We are still further working on it to reduce further. We had called for the, the global leaders uh, certifying company DNV yeah. and in the beginning when we started we started with a target of 190 kg. Now we are moving to the next target of 105 kg and then subsequently reduce it further. Excellent. And in terms of uh, the uh, next, so I, I guess, phase, is, is that using DRI? You see, as of now, we are using only 5 to 10 percent DRI, so more than 70 percent scrap yeah. and around 20 percent uh, uh, pig iron. Yeah. Now this is the mix basically which helps in producing uh, the most uh, uh, quality, best quality product. Yeah. So we are continuously using this. Now the next stage is to produce hydrogen based DRI. We are working on that technology. We are looking for partners. It seems uh, uh, electrolyzers are available to produce hydrogen, yeah. but it's a challenge to produce green hydrogen basically because green electricity is available only 12 to 14 hours a day which includes solar as well as wind. Yeah. Now, see if we can, and a steel plant is a continuous process plant. Yeah. 
if you get green energy only 12 to 14 hours a day, you need to store hydrogen. Yeah. Now we are looking for a possible solution how to store uh, hydrogen and then use in the steel plant continuously and how we can optimize our cost because in the process it should not happen that our manufacturing cost is much higher and we are not able to yeah. sell the product yeah. Yeah. because as on date nobody is ready to give any premium for the green steel. Yeah. Understood. Well, it's fascinating to see uh, such innovation and, and, and uh, getting ahead of the curve and, and being India's first uh, green steel producer. So well done, RK, on, on, on that. And we look forward to uh, supporting you and, and seeing uh, Kalani Steel's uh, uh, growth going forward and, and, and completing your DIRI project. So many thanks. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so Cheers.